Hi there, welcome to SNMP version 3 tutorial. In this video, we will learn basic concept of SNMP v3. So SNMP stands for Simple Network Management Protocol. And SNMP v3 make no changes to the protocol aside from add addition of cryptographic security. So SNMP v3 basically deal with the security model that lacks in SMP version 1 version 2c. So SNMP version 3 start with the definition of document set under which it defines a roadmap and this roadmap should maintain in the document for example introduction of SNMP v3 of IETF. Okay so this is the first element in the SNMP version 3 document set. The second element is applicability. So this define network that vary widely in size, just and complexity. Now we have another element called coexistence and transitions. So V3 architecture will allow new model to replace supplement existing model. So it will work with the older system and it, it should able to replace the new model. Then the important thing is message handling. So it will this will tell how the message format will happen between two SNMP v3 entity. So what should be the message format? The next level is PDU handling. The PDU handling, it will define the operations performed by the receiving SNMP engine. PDU belong to classes that typically name as read class, write class, response class, notification class, internal class, confirmed and unconfirmed class. Okay. Next is information model. In this model, we will define the structured management interface, SMI. So this will responsible for establish the notation of defining the object. So SMI will define the notation for defining the object modules and other elements of manage information. So this is another. So MIP formats. So there are various RFCs are defined in the document set. Then we have. So how many we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven pillar of document set. So let's go one by one. The first pillar is message handling. In message handling, this protocol will define how the transport mapping will work over UDP or IPC, IPX and other. Then the message processing and the dispatcher and the security model. So transport mapping defines how the mapping between SMP and the transport is done. Message processing defines a message format and the security, the authentication, encryption and are done here in this model and typically message level security. Next one is PDU handling. In detail PDU handle will have protocol operation application and access control. So protocol option operations are classified into seven classes as I told earlier. Like read class, write class, response class, notification class, internal class, confirm and unconfirmed class. The application will use the services of an SNMP engine to accomplish certain tasks. Third is access control. 
this model will define the mechanism whether access to manage object should be allowed. Next we have information model. So it has the structure of management information, the textual convention and the conformance statement. So as I told SMI will establish the notation of defining object modules and other element of the managed information. So this textual convention will define MIB modules as a new types and conformance are acceptable lower bounds of implementation. The MIB module will have standard V1 format of RFC 1157 standard V1 RFC 1212 then we have RFC 14xx format and draft V2 RFC 19xx format. So we have seen the brief of the document set and the complete document set is refer shown in this diagram. Okay, message handling, transport mapping, message process and dispatcher, security, then PDU handling, protocol operation, application access control, then information model, SMI, textual convention, confirmation and MIP format will contain the RFCs. So what is SNMP architecture? So SNMP architecture, so three key points are here. The naming of entities, the naming of identities and naming of management information. Since SNMP v3 deals with uh, cryptography message level security the naming of identity play a use major roles also the entities the engine IDs and the management informations so all three will create a SNMP architecture so what is SNMP entity this part so SNMP entity contain two broad thing the first one is SNMP engine and second one is application the engine will contain the system of dispatcher message processing system security subsystem and access control on the other side application will use command generator notification receiver proxy forwarder command responder notification originator and other so this will request to the application and application will respond to the engine. So let's see what is a dispatcher. So dispatcher task is to sending, receiving the SNMP message. And it will determine what is the version of SNMP message and delivery of the PDU to an application. So protocol data unit, it will deliver by the dispatcher under SNMP entity SNMP engine then we have message processing system so it has the message processing model it can also it also have a version 2c processing model version 1 messaging process model and other messaging processing model then we have security system the new term user based security model and defined in SNMP version 3 and on top we have other security model already in place. These two club with and will define in SMP entity as security subsystem. Then we have access control. We have to define a user then we'll have to give the view based access control and we have the other access control. In view based access control to auth prep auth no, no priv, privilege will come here. So this four pillar will cover the SNMP engine. So let's see how the SNMP manager looks like. And then we'll define how the SNMP entity. So SNMP entity will have SNMP engine and all the message subsystem, security subsystem, so we have notification originator, notification receiver, 
and command generator okay this deal with the dispatcher and it has will use pdu dispatcher message dispatcher and transport mapping then we have message processing system where we have snmp v1 message processing snmp v2 message processing version 3 message processing and other then we have security subsystem where we have us security model and other security model and this complete will refer as the snmp entity and the dispatcher will dispatch to the udp or ipx or other over the network over the internet so this is refer as the snmp entity the agent part is we have responder here here we have originator command generator we are here we have command responder and this part will be same it will use the mib structure to manage manage object and it has a access control system the agent part will have use a view based access control to the command responder as well as the notification originator then we have pdu dispatcher message dispatcher and transport mapping communicate with the message processing system where we have snmp version 1 snmp version 2c and snmp version 3 and other so version 1 and version 2c will use a community based security model like public or private snmp v3 will use secure user based security model usm and other will use other security model so these two the snmp manager snmp entity and snmp agent are the two application that will use each other so let's see the flow of the snmp v3 so command generator we will send the pdu so on the process of sending the pdu it will send the following information send pdu handle the dispatcher will prepare outgoing message the into the message processing model and the following parameter will be sent this is the transport address transport domain and the message processing model will ask the security model generate request message so when it is generating the request message it will again come back to the dispatcher when everything goes fine it will wait for send and receive then finally the dispatcher will prepare the data elements once the data element is prepared the data element will again go to the security model to processing the incoming message all went fine finally it will come to the dispatch from security model to message processing model and to the dispatcher and finally process response pdu will come under which the following parameter will come so this is the typical flow of snmp v3 so let's see the what how the snmp v3 message formats look like so this is the structure of the snmp major protocol where we have a message version snmp v3 version 3 the global data the authoritative data and the message data so if you divide this the first part from message version and message global data are generated and processed by the message processing model then the authoritative parts where uh, username authentication privacy parameter are generated processed by the user security model the third part the data the pdu the scope read it can be either plain text or in encrypted format and everything is in scope of the authentication okay so all the snmp v3 are part of the authentication so this is the snmp v3 overview thanks for watching the video do let me know if you have any queries or concern i will try to answer over the comment